OK, uh, so as we mentioned earlier that uh, to learn data visualization, it is very important to learn from some examples. Uh, so the remaining of the, this week's lecture, we will go through a very famous project that is using a Halloween data set. So the Halloween data set is pretty simple that recorded number of visitors on Halloween at a different time period and in, diff in multiple years. So those are accumulated numbers. So for example, on, in this year at 6 p.m., we have 22 visitors. And at 6.30, we have 160 visitors. Those include uh, those 22 visitors. OK, and we have each 30 uh, minutes that how many visitors in total. And finally, we have the total visitors that at 8.15. So uh, people are asked to decide a story based on a data set. Um, they also need to follow those uh, falsely clean uh, principles. They can also use some external data to enrich their visualizations. Uh, however, they should not use the default settings in Excel. OK, and um, and so if you are interested, so you can go to this website that has provide the original data set that Excel data and also Tableau data file and also the description of this project. And also you can find out additional information. So we will see some examples that people created that by using this uh, simple data set. So hopefully at now you at least you're all clear about the data set. So let's look at some examples uh, from 2012. OK, uh, so this is one example that uh, people only had four years of data. So that's a common view of the data, uh, especially people creating visualizations in Excel. We can see that there is a forecast of the data that for the 2012. And this is also another example that uh, we can see that are using Excel as a default. And in this case, um, uh, you can see that uh, the people are also added the age frequency, okay, so which is very interesting that uh, for the visitors. But uh, the data source is not provided, so we don't know where they get the result of the, such data. Uh, this is an also another example by using Excel. And uh, you can see that they added the drop lines, which is not necessary in this case. OK. And uh, we also see that uh, uh, the average price of candy over time uh, However, so this is a straight line, so uh, and also no data resource are listed. So it's it's um, personally I will not trust this data set. All right, so this is also another example that um, created by using Excel. So we can see those two line chart. The only difference is that on the right side, they added the forecast. Okay, so. To me, it is really not necessary to create two separate visualizations. So probably we just use this one, and also we can uh, remove this one. And also, if you look at this stacked bar chart, and you can see it's very hard to tell, uh, compare the values in those different categories, especially in the purple and also green. OK. However, so this visualization did a great job in showing the the cost because they provide a data source, okay, which seems to be reliable. And this is an example that uh, people incorporate the weather data, and this is created in Tableau. Okay, um, we are seeing uh, more and more examples that are using uh, weather information. And this is also another uh, visualization created by Tableau. And I really like the color. OK, so that is orange on black. OK, so I really like this color. So you can spend some time that look at the, the color that 
um, of this uh, dashboard. OK, so this is another example in Excel. Um, you can see there are many problems issues, like those unnecessary thread effect. And also, if you look at those labels, OK? Um, so this problem is an improved one. So although there's still some places that need to improve, but the, at least the labels are better, OK? And this is another example. and. As we said, such type of the chart are not recommended. Um, and you can see that on this bar chart, the color is really unnecessary. So um, why do you need color for this bar chart? OK, since it's already in the bar chart, you are not telling any other uh, information. Um, this is another example using weather data. OK. Uh, uh, incorporate with the winter speed. But uh, if you look at how they label the, um, the winter speed, so remember that most uh, people in the world that re they read from the left, from the right. OK, so it is not recommended that you put the text vertically. And this is also another example. Uh, however, in this case, you can see they put time on the y axis. So Normally, we want to put time on the x axis. OK. And another example that uh, when the where the time is rotated. So generally, readers accept to see the time from the left to the right. OK. And this is also another example. So um, notice that it's very hard to see the trend up in 2011 and then dropped in 2012. OK, so if we put that one on the time on X axis, so that allow us to see that the trend. OK, so up and followed by the job. And another option is that we can probably use a line chart. OK, so instead of using a bar chart. And sometimes you don't need to label all the uh, data points. So in this case, we can just label the first and also last one, and also one that is highest has the highest values. And this is a great analysis of the data that is showing uh, yet another calculation that can be used in the data. So the bars plot the minimal number and also maximum number of the visitors in each time segment. And the result in the range of low to high for each half hour segment. And again, do not use uh, Excel default because a lot of person will do that. So we can see some person are doing Excel with default and the more people and the more people and the more people. Okay, so sometimes it may make you feel like, okay, so when you see something that is not in, ex in the Excel default, uh, it's really a relief. Okay, so keep in mind that um, put it as simple as possible. Okay, so I also like this example that uh, less is more. OK, so we can remove those redundant uh, elements that in our uh, visualizations so that we can make a very clear uh, data visualization. All right, uh, so let's go through some more examples. So here we are looking at examples from 2013 to 2015. And this is an interesting example that um, uh, uh, so it, they tend to tell the story that uh, we have fewer visitors because uh, President Obama um, gave a speech scheduled to speak on Halloween day. So that's why that people are watching the, uh, the speech actually rather than um, come out uh, for the Halloweens, do the tricky trees. Um, this is the example that people are looking at the unemployment rate. Okay. And this 
an example that looking at the children obesity. However, this one is a little bit tricky because the bars for the tricky treat is plot correctly, but the obesity rate is not. Okay, and uh, first the uh, okay the obesity is not okay. So you can see the the tiny difference. Okay, but they have very huge difference in terms of length. Okay, so if you look at numbers, they are very small, but if you look at length, they are large difference in terms of length. So this one is uh, is really um, misleading. And also the analysis is flawed. Okay, so uh, the visualization intends to say that fat kids like candy, but the data shows no relationship to this. And actually the lowest count in 2008 but uh, the difference, okay, has the highest children obesity. Okay, the lowest count has the highest children obesity. Okay. And this example shows the days of the week, which could be interesting comparison. Uh, as some years of data are gathered, so notice that uh, we have very nice legend. Uh, we have no idea what that does. What does that mean? And uh, if you look at the weather, so if specifically the average temperature, so this actually is also um, uh, misleading. So in this case, average daily temperature is showing that uh, 2009 has the highest temperature. But let's look at the data. Okay, so. Average is is one measure of the central tendency, and also we can also use medians and also mode. It is always a good idea to save the data and looking at the mean and also maximal of the distribution of the data, and then to use to calculate the average. You can see that 2008 has a minimum of 30 and also maximum of 72 degree. And if you look at the temperature, we can see that for 2008, there's a wide range of difference. And if you look at the, the temperature on that single day, okay, and we can see that uh, the temperature in 2008 um, on that single day is almost 70 degrees, making 2008 the warmest year so far. So not only uh, 2009, but the warmest year, but actually it started as the coldest year. So that by using the daily average, we can't distort data, distort data, and also tell a completely inaccurate story. Uh, this is a one example that uses the precipitation, but you can see here it's really unnecessary use line chart because there are no rains on the other days except 2009. So probably uh, a lilypore or lollipop chart will be better. Okay, and since there's only one uh, data point, so probably we don't even need um, uh, the, the y-axis. So this is an example that uh, using a pie chart to show the face of the moon. Okay, uh, so the, the problem of, the, of this one is that first of all, the pie chart is not recommended. Okay, and secondly, so if you look at the bar chart, you can see this, those two bar charts are lower and this bar chart is higher and this bar chart is the highest. So it's, it's not the best practice to allow the most accurate comparison. Uh, so this is the one that is in redesign that shows image of the moons from Wikipedia and also four bar chart each label showing the exact number okay so this is the simple and also cleaner design so this is a great example that you can see that use a color to indicate whether or not there's a ring okay and also number of the treaters over different years Okay, uh, for this one, so 
um, there are several problems. Okay, uh, so the first is that the time is plotted on the backward order, which is really weird. Okay, uh, and also uh, they are using the size to indicate the face of the moon, which is not also not recommended. So that really does not make any sense. Uh, this one shows various distribution of the year and the time. And the bottom shows a new calculation that we haven't seen before. Uh, so that compares shows a percentage change of distributed candies a reference to the first year of the data collected in 2008. OK, so another example of the table cal calculation that can be done to provide additional information. OK, so and what is the problem of this chart? OK, so you may say that the, the time is backward, right? 3D effect. OK, so this one is should be rotated. So what is the biggest problem of this visualization? The biggest problem is the data itself. OK, so the cost of candy per year. So is that true that people spend one thousand and six hundred dollars on the candy per year? OK, and now sometimes they spend more than three thousand dollars. OK. So the data itself is really suspicious. So that I think is the biggest problem. So when you see the visualizations, do not blindly trust the chart. So you you still you 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 also need to ask yourself. So is that re reasonable? Okay. So does that against our common sense? Uh, so this is a very beautiful visualization. So the great use of colors and also the design elements. Okay. So it's very clean, and the, the data source and also authors are also listed. So this is a great example. 